Welcome back to another one. The dog days of summer are finally here. We're at the end of July, getting into August. It's hot, water temperatures are really high, and the one place that is pretty much guaranteed to find crappie, specifically on our river systems up north and the reservoir systems for those of you down south, are dock systems. So today's video, I'm gonna break down which docks I'm gonna try and look at on a map and why I'm gonna look at them. Uh, break down side imaging, how you can use side imaging to see and verify if there are crappie under those docks. And I'm going to break down the rod and reel setup for dock shooting. And then I guess how to dock shoot, how to skip a little 1 16th ounce jig like this guy right here underneath the dock. Uh, huge thanks to Crappie Monster for sponsoring this video. Go to crappiemonster.com, pick yourself up a pack of baits. Right now we're going to be using the small fry, the Crappie Monster small fry in either monster milk or margarita. Use promo code DAVIS for 20% off. So why are docks so great this time of year? Well, specifically on our river systems up north, and I'll be honest, I don't fish these enough. I, these are kind of overlooked by a lot of northern anglers. Typically on our natural lakes, what happens is the water temps just get too hot, the docks are too shallow, there's not enough current on our natural lakes up north, but on the river systems, these crappie can stay shallow because usually there's enough current moving cooler water and oxygen through that dock system, and that oxygen also attracts a lot of bait fish. So if you have oxygen and food, odds are you're gonna have some crappie under those docks. Today I'm on pool two of the Mississippi River, gonna break down basically how I'm finding some of these fish on these certain very specific docks. Uh, docks that are in the main part of the current don't really seem to be holding fish. On some sort of little back channel where there is still enough current, that seems to be where I'm finding some of these crappie. And the same goes for when I fish the St. Croix River or some of the other river systems up north. Uh, down south, if you're fishing a big reservoir system like Lake of the Ozarks, this time of year, you're probably still looking at a little bit deeper water. Any of those docks in like 10 to 15, 20 feet of water, this time of year are typically gonna hold fish. Up north on these river systems, you can even find fish in five to six feet of water. Now, before we get in too deep into the video, I do have to preface this by saying, by no means am I an expert. This is something that I've picked up over the years of going down south, fishing with a lot of southern anglers uh, on their big reservoir systems. It's a ton of fun. On those big reservoir systems down south, this is something you can do pretty much year round. You just have to vary the depth in which docks you're looking at. All right, so the first question is, how do you find specific docks to target on, let's say, just a map like a Navionics or Google Map or something like that? First of all, you need to understand which time of year that you're in. Now that we're in the dog days of summer, I need a dock that is closer to, maybe not right on the main channel, but fairly close to it because I need some sort of current movement cooling those water temps down. These crappie up north, specifically up north, they're not going to handle 80 plus degree water temps. Down south they might be able to do that, but up here they're just not used to consistent 80 degree water. Right now on the Mississippi River it's about 75 degree water temps. Uh, in the main channel it's like 73. So these back cove areas that get over 80 degrees, you're probably not going to find many crappie in them. It also depends on the season. Now we got current, we got time of year, but seasonality is a big key. If we were in the springtime, you could probably target crappie on our natural lakes up north on the docks. I mean, they're going to be in less than five feet of water through most of, probably most of May, early part of June, before the water temps start moving up. And then they just kind of follow the weed edge as the weed line grows up in deeper and deeper water. They just kind of follow that out. And right now, coming to the end of July, August, most of the crappie on our natural lakes are probably 10 to 20 feet of water, depending on the clarity and how deep the weed edges are. But on our river systems, we have crappie a little bit shallow water. Uh, on your reservoir systems, you're gonna to wanna to start in the far back of any feeder creek during the springtime. So let's say you're in the state of Texas, your spawn is typically March. So a lot of your crappie are gonna be in the far back part of that feeder creek. Any docks and shallower water, less than six feet, have a really good chance of holding some crappie. As you get into the summer months, you wanna get you want to find those docks that are reaching out in a little bit deeper water, 10, 15, 20 feet. Now, if there's a lot of current moving through a feeder creek, those crappie can be a little bit shallower because that current is keeping that water cooler than if it was just stagnant. The same goes for the river systems up north. If you can get kind of out of the main channel, but there's still enough current movement cooling the water down, those docks are what hold fish this time of year. In the fall, they can start pushing a little bit shallower as the water temps cool. They can kind of go back into some of those feeder creeks for those of you in the reservoir system, and they can kind of push a little bit shallower. I'm not talking less than two feet, but they can go from, let's say, 10 feet to maybe six feet of water. 
um, and you can still find them in super shallow docks during the fall. Now that you found a few docks that you want to look at on a map, we're going to use side imaging to first scan a bunch of these docks to see if there's actually fish underneath them. Uh, there's two options you can do with your side imaging. You can run regular side imaging, meaning you can see both left and right side of your screen. A lot of people actually just run one side. So if I'm going to go buy some docks and those docks are on the right side of my boat, I'm only going to want the right side of my side imaging showing. Um, it's perfectly fine to have both sides showing whatever you're more comfortable with or whatever you're more confident in actually viewing side imaging with. That's what you should be using. But going by a dock, I actually just have both left and right up. These are what these pilings look like, these long bars, and they're pretty bright. And these are what these crappie will look like. They, they kind of look just big, like big Christmas tree lights hanging below the dock. Um, sometimes you can get a big school of them. Sometimes there's only a few fish underneath there. Uh, typically, if there's a few fish underneath there, they're probably bigger crappie. Not always, but typically up north on these river systems, that's what I've found. So with side imaging settings, you want to set your either left or right, depending on what you want to scan, as far as you can without shrinking the image too much. You guys still got to be confident in what you're seeing. So typically what I run is about 70 feet left and right. And when I go scan by a dock, I don't always go like right next to the dock. Usually I'm about 20 to 30 feet away as I'm idling by the dock and letting side scan develop a picture to see if I'm actually going to be on some fish. All right, so now let's talk about the rod and reel setup for dock shooting. ACC crappie sticks actually makes, I could argue four dock shooting rods. Most people probably say three, but I've dock shot with the seven and a half foot rod that they make. This right here is my go-to dock shooting rod that ACC offers. This is the six foot six. It's a two piece rod. They also make a six foot and a five and a half foot, which I, I know a lot of people use different lengths of rods for dock shooting, whatever you're comfortable with. If you're a little bit taller, I found that longer rods are probably a little bit easier for you to shoot. If you're on the shorter end, shorter rods are easier to shoot. So it really depends on, I guess, what you're comfortable with. And you might have to try a couple different rods. I prefer the six foot six. I have an, it has enough backbone to really sling a jig out there and it doesn't feel like um, you're basically casting a little wet noodle. So uh, that's what I'm using for this. 1,000 or 2,000 size reels. Uh, this is actually a 2,000 size reel because this six foot six I actually use for casting as well as dock shooting. So it's kind of like a hybrid rod. But 1,000 size would be perfectly fine. I wouldn't go any bigger than a 2,000. Uh, I guess the, the main key is you want the line to shoot off the spool as clean as possible um, to not disrupt that skipping of the jig under the dock. I'm using six pound monofilament. And then uh, right now it's a, it's a beat up jig because I've been dock shooting most of this morning, but it's a 1 16th ounce uh, jig head that ACC Crappie Sticks makes. And then this is the Crappie Monster Small Fry. Uh, this is the margarita pattern. There's two patterns that I really like for natural bait fish. Uh, that's the Monster Milk and the Margarita. And on a river systems right now, this Mississippi River, I found that natural patterns actually trigger the bite a lot better than let's say a black and chartreuse or just a regular chartreuse jig, which is weird because on the St. Croix River, it's, it's kind of the opposite. Chartreuse triggers a lot better bites. Um, and the Mississippi River is a lot dirtier of a, of a river system than the St. Croix. But this is just what I've been finding this morning. Now, when it comes to actually shooting the jig, and again, I do have to preface this by saying most of what I've learned, I've learned from southern anglers that I've had the privilege of fishing with on the river, on the reservoir systems down south. Uh, so this is pretty much what I've learned from all of them. So there's there's two techniques, and uh, you know, as long as you can get that jig up under that dock, I don't think either one is wrong. The first technique is to actually grab the jig by the jig head when you are going to shoot that jig under the dock. The second technique is to grab it by the bend of the hook. The main goal with this is to make sure that the tip of the hook doesn't skewer your finger or your hand. That's, that's the main goal here. So um, the first thing you always do, for, or at least for me, I always drop my jig about level to the start of the cork handle, somewhere right, right in this area between where you could hook your jig and the start of the cork. This seems to be kind of the most comfortable for me to be able to grab the hook, pull it back, and, and really, you know, slingshot a jig. So once you got your length of line out, 
The next is you're gonna grab it with your index finger, open the bail, and then grab your jig head with whichever technique that you want to shoot. And again, the main goal is to keep your line flat with the water. And when you let your jig go, it should just skip flat up under the dock. This is gonna take some practice. This is a great technique and it's often overlooked up north. So there you have it, another great night on the river. I actually switched rivers from the Mississippi to the St. Croix tonight, catching some real nice crappie. This one going home in the frying pan tonight. But dock shooting is a great tactic for these late summer, dog days of summer patterns. If you can find some crappie, I found some tonight on just a pile of crappie stacked up underneath the dock under a fairly decent sized yacht and just shooting this little crappie monster jig right underneath that yacht and there was a pile of them. I didn't catch as many as I wanted to, but caught enough for a meal tonight. And huge thank you to Crappie Monster for sponsoring the video. Go to OTHfishing.com, use promo code DAVIS, 20% off the entire website. Pick yourself up some of these small fries that I was using today. Rod, reel, line, everything is gonna be linked in the description. If you have any comments or questions like how do you find the fish? What are you looking at on a map? What are you looking at on side imaging? Post them in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to reach back out to you or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Good luck finding those crappie on the docks in the late part of the summer.